Spreading the Words is a series on the histories of Irish words from literature and everyday life. Written by Sharon Boothnot and Maura Neve Wainig and produced in association with the book A History of Ireland in 100 Words and the Electronic Dictionary of the Irish Language. In this piece, our reader is Ruth Hegarty. Maidin Vara, Mermaid. A traditional song associated with the Donegal Gwaeltocht movingly conveys the dilemma of a woman torn between her family and a life at sea. The cause of her dilemma comes to the fore only in the second verse when the woman's daughter starkly acknowledges Is maidin vara ma vaharin ard. My noble mother is a mermaid. The song draws on a long tradition of stories about mermaids who emerge from the sea, take on fully human shape and marry, or are sometimes forced or tricked into marriage with human men. The transformed women ultimately return to the sea, but the stories and associated songs often raise wide-ranging questions about nature, love and duty. Mermaids, then, can be vehicles for the exploration of complex themes in folk tales and songs. And the poems by Seamus Heaney and Nuala Ronal, which were published in the 1970s and 80s, under the title Maidan Vara, continue in this vein. Heaney's poem deals with a suicide by drowning, while Nironal's probes aspects of autism. The phrase Maidan Vara translates as Maiden of the Sea, and Irish Maiden is actually borrowed from English Maiden. In the literary and historical texts of earlier centuries, a different term is used to refer to similar creatures. The Annals of Ulster tell us that in the year 1118, fishermen in Ossery and Waterford caught remarkable creatures specified as Murduchen. This word means sea song or sea singing, and the naming legend of Waterford, which is known as Port Lorega in Irish, tells how a man named Rothmac Kithing is lured out to sea by the sound of Murduchen. When he finally sees them, each is a beautiful, fair-haired woman above the water while the lower part is huge and beast-like. The sea women tear Roth limb from limb, and the place where his thigh washed up was afterwards known as Portlorega, Lorak being an early word for the thigh or upper leg. Whereas Waterford is connected with the singing Murduchin, the best-known Irish fishwoman appears in early literature in connection with Loch Ney in the north. As the story goes... A well overflowed to create the loch, drowning almost all in its path. But the daughter of Echu Mach Marida survived by transforming into a part woman, part fish, and living under the loch for 300 years. At the end of the tale, she is baptised by Saint Comgol, 6th century abbot of the great monastery of Bangor, and given the name Murgan, which means person of the sea. On account of her baptism name, Echu's daughter is sometimes equated with St. Morgan, whose feast day is the 27th of January. The fishwoman of Loch Ney is only one of several people bearing the name Morgan who are mentioned in connection with the saint, however. And so, tantalising as it might be, the idea of the mermaid who became a saint actually has no firm basis in the texts which survive from the Middle Ages.